So I'm here with uh, Calvin Dick. My name is Kerry Dick, and uh, we're not related, are we, Calvin? No, not as far as we know. Not as, not as far as we know. We haven't had that in-depth conversation yet. No. Yeah, maybe someday. But uh, the occasion for our conversation uh, today is to talk a little bit about uh, a song and the sermon that uh, I'm going to be uh, preaching for uh, this week for our Bakerview family and anyone else who uh, chooses to uh, to tune in. So um, I'm preaching on Psalm 130. And uh, I recall, Calvin, shortly after we moved here, uh, uh, there was a song that we sang in, in one of our services, the liturgical service at, at Bakerview, and it, and it was this song. And it, it's been meaningful to me ever, ever since you introduced it to me. So where did you first hear about it? Yeah, when uh, we had just been in 2018 in September, we had been in Nashville for the Getty Worship Conference. Okay. And uh, we heard this uh, this setting of one, Psalm 130 for the first time, and it just really resonated with me. Yeah. Yeah, and when I heard uh, it, it uh, used in, in our worship service, it also resonated with me. I, I remember uh, being in that service. I don't remember much else about the service, but I remember the feeling I had when we were singing this song. And uh, that, that was powerful. And, uh, you know, before we get into the actual meat of this song, um, maybe it's worth just for a second to talk about the power of music in a time such as this that uh, we find ourselves in with the whole um, pandemic going on. And uh, ha ha there's something about music at a time like this, isn't there? Yeah, I think it, it helps us connect emotionally yeah. to what's going on and, and uh, maybe it helps make sense of what we're feeling uh, yeah. when, we, when we sing and when we, when we listen to a well set song like this. Yeah. Which actually is exactly what the Psalms themselves do. They, they help us make sense of some of our emotions. So uh, maybe let, let's talk a little bit about, about this song and what it's, what it's trying to, what it's trying to do. Um, yeah. I think it's uh, so well said. I, I really think that second verse out of the depths, I cry to you in darkest places. I will call. Incline your ear to me anew and hear my cry for mercy, Lord. It just seems so appropriate uh, for our time. And then, of course, it moves into the, a hopeful refrain. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. On your word, I will rely. I will wait for you. Surely wait for you. Till my soul is satisfied. Right on. Well... You're gonna, you and uh, Heather are gonna play it for us, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to hearing that in this different uh, kind of a venue <laughs> in which we find ourselves. And uh, it's gonna be a real powerful companion, I think, to the to the sermon that we're gonna be uh, spending some time with on on Psalm 130. So thanks for being willing to do this in this uh, unique way, and looking forward to it. Yeah, we're a people not without hope. Absolutely. That's what this is about. The sermon title is Hope for Any Journey. So there we go. Amen. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Thank Talk to you later. Thank you. 